Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Aldridge, and I'm here to present about the validity and reliability of classroom tests. Establishing validity. Establishing validity. In educational assessment should always have a clear purpose. Nothing will be gained from assessment unless the assessment has some validity for the purpose. For that reason, the validity is the most important single attribute of a good test. Before going into that, let's define validity. What is validity? Validity is the extent to which a concept, conclusion, or measurement is well-founded and likely corresponds accurately to the real world. And on the other hand, the validity of a measurement tool is the degree to which the tool measures what it claims to measure. There are several types of assessment to be valid or several types of validity. Number one is the pace validity. Do the assessment items appear to be appropriate? Uh, it talks about the appropriateness of the test items. It has somehow uh, relates and uh, affects the validity of the test. For the next one is the content validity. Does the assessment content cover what you wanted to assess? Does the uh, content of the uh, of the assessment tool or the test that you created covers the area of uh, knowledge or expertise that you wanted to assess. Does it cover the content? Does it measures uh, what you really that what you really measure? What you really want to measure? I'm sorry. And for the next one is the criteria criterion related validity. It talks about uh, how well does the test measure what you want it to. Uh, it talks about like the uh, like uh, the quality of the assessment that you given to the students. It talks about the uh, uh, it's like the endurance like that somehow like that uh, the effectiveness of the measurement the measurement tool that you have been given or created. Does it measure what you really wanted to measure? It somehow in cir uh, circles to the idea of that uh, meaning of val validity. And for the last one is the construct validity. This is the questions for a test to be valid or to be proved that it's valid. And yes, again, that's that that are you measuring what you think you're measuring? Do you think that your measurement tool measures the thing that you think you are measuring? So something like that. So how to establish validity? So for the, for a test to be valid, it must also be reliable. And a, a reliable test is one that will produce the same or very similar results when taken by the same pupil more than once within a close period of time. So establishing reliability will be discussed by Mr. Paranan and it should be next to this topic and uh, going back to my topic, it is fairly obvious that a valid assessment should have a good coverage of the criteria of concepts, skills, and the knowledge. And it's also relevant to the purpose of the examination, hence the important notion here is the purpose. Kindly remember this is a uh, definition of validity for a test to be valid make sure that the tool, the tool or the measurement tool you're using measures what it claims to measure that's it for me thank you and have a great day and these are my references